Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys an unboxing or unwrapping of a letter set today in Japan. And um, I've done a couple of these before and I just think they're always kind of fun because the paper sometimes can be used for um, crafts, origami, and also of course writing letters. And I really think uh, Japan is definitely known for having some really beautiful designs. So the design I'm going to show you guys today is actually made by Hallmark. Um, they have a division offices here in Japan that make some beautiful designs. And um, they always have such nice high quality paper. And this is actually what's called like a letter pad. And it's just the paper itself. And rather than being sold like a set with lots of papers and envelopes all together, you buy the pad separately and then also the envelopes separately if you want the envelopes. Um, and I don't remember seeing the matching envelopes to this when I was looking. Sometimes those sell out, um, that kind of a thing. But uh, this pad of paper was 450 yen, so it's a little on the expensive side. You get 12 sheets of paper. There's two different designs. And I thought it was so perfect because, you know, we're in spring and it's got the beautiful sakura blossoms. And then who could just, you know, ignore this adorable, cute little bunny here who looks like our little marshmallow so much. So um, I had to get it. But <laughs> uh, the paper itself here is textured. It has little tiny like bumps on it and the paper is really nice and thick. So if you're using a calligraphy pen or something like that, it'll really soak the ink up good. Look really nice for writing a letter. And uh, the two designs, you know, you've got this little bit of Sakura and then the cute little bunny butt right there. And then the other design is a little bunny up on her hind legs. It's so cute. Look at that face. Just adorable. Super cute. So just alternates between those two designs and it's just a tearaway paper for you to use. And... Um, the, you'll notice one of the things about it that's unique is the lines go vertically here. Um, people in Japan, when they write letters, sometimes write uh, in the old way, which is uh, writing from top to bottom and starting from right to left. Uh, sometimes they'll start from the left side and go to the right, depending on what it's for. But uh, this is one way to write letters. So if you buy this and you're a Westerner, it can be a little tricky because you can't really necessarily use this so easily for your own purposes of writing letters at home. Now, if the bunny wasn't here, you could just twist it. I've done that before when I've bought some of this vertical style lined paper. And then if there's nothing that really gives it away, I can still you know, hold it like this and use it to write letters. But this case, you kind of have to be careful, unless you don't really care about that. I mean, the bunny's so cute, it doesn't really matter. But <laughs> but um, this paper is great, too, though, for uh, using for origami. You can cut it down into a square and just treat the lines as part of the pattern. Um, you can also cut out the parts that you like of the paper because it's so cute and use it for different crafts. So lots of different purposes for it, for sure. And just neat to be able to write letters, too. Um, I think because a lot of people tend to... Um, write letters and maybe put them all together in another envelope or just give them to each other. A lot of people don't necessarily need the envelopes right away, so that's why they kind of tend to sell it separately like this. But just a cute way to get a special kind of notepad. And um, I'll try to have some more fun ones like this to share with you guys in the day uh, later on as the seasons change. That's one thing about this kind of notepad or letter pad. Um, this particular kind, for example, is obviously seasonal for spring. You can only buy it in spring. Um, you know, we usually have that instance happen with things for Christmas. That makes sense. But um, seasonal things like this are very specific, and you have to be here at that time to get this kind of uh, paper. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. I think anybody who's thinking of traveling to Japan should try to come either in the spring or in the fall because um, just both seasons are so beautiful. So I'll have some more fun stuff as they change with the seasons to share with you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Put them in the comments section below and I'll have uh, another video to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye.